So good morning, March the 31st, 2016, this is CISG114, Section 1 Web Technology, and like today is day number 20, because we do not have day number 19, it's a holiday, and week number 10. So let's get started. Welcome back to day number uh, 20, of uh, week number 10. We lost Monday, so that will be the last day when you have to do in-class sharing for learning contract number three. Okay, and then by the end of this weekend, extensible to April 4, you need to submit the learning artifacts for learning contract number three. And if you look at the teacher's message this week, I've already given you a reminder on the number of items, I guess nine altogether, as the first, you can see the first one is the proposal, the team-based proposal, it's the PBL team-based proposal. The second one is your individual online journal, individual online journal. The third is the team-based PBL discussion forum details, which can be extracted from your team discussion forum for this learning contract number three. And then you have to submit the team-based PBL report. The report is based on the one topic your team has selected for investigations. And in the report, I'm expected to see three, at least three specific investigative questions with the respective set of OIA and the uh, efforts put together a story which is coherent enough to tell what you have learned from the topic. Okay? And then it's a refracted blog which is done by individual students of your team. Just night and before that this blog, everyone in your team need to write a blog based on the same team PBL topic. Okay? But you have to write it from the different perspective of your work done within the team. And then you need to generate a PBL PowerPoint for presentation purpose. The presentations of the team project will not happen next week because next first day you have to pick term percent. Okay, and I'm going to confirm to you which computer room to go, hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, because I'm waiting for the response from the ICTO, which computer room we can go. And so you need to do an in-class team-based presentation to be after next week, uh, studying from Monday week and first day week. Hopefully you can do it in one week time. Okay, and then I will start helping you understand the meaning of intuitive learning, studying from next week. Oh, we do have a Monday class. But we have the first day midterm exam that I'm going to give you a little bit more of the teacher's message on week number 11 so that you can take up integrative learning, meaning the portfolio you need to do. And then for those teams of you who choose to complete a digital story based on the PowerPoint, you can do the digital story based on the software suggested, the Tentatia software or the PowerPoint software, okay? And each one of you in your team need to fill in an assessment form. The assessment form is here, you can just click on this form and you can see that what is being accessed for individual team member of you. Now what you need to do here is very simple. Each team member need to fill out this form by himself or herself, confidentially. You do not need to tell your team member because you are going to give a parade number of score to each member of your team except yourself, okay? And the way you do it, it's very simple. If you take a look at this particular form, you can see that under this form, we have three specific roles, okay? Three specific roles uh, concerning the responsibility of the team member, concerning the helping uh, conditions of the team member, as well as the respect for others, only okay, three specific criteria. And if you believe your team member is good enough to score one or two or three or four, you just have to give them one or two or three or four. Normally what you need to do is to add comments to this table. For example, in the team of four, you do not give yourself a score, you add three more columns. That is the name of your team member. And underneath each column, you assign to that 
number the score. Remember this time you can assign any number you want. And of course, if you believe your team member is good enough to score four, you put four in all the, the rows, okay? Um, and then uh, what you need to do is after giving the score, if you believe you want to add some comments for each of the team member, you can add a specific row called personal comment. All right, and this is very up to you. Okay, it's a very interesting form in which I could take a good look at the individual member's perspective of another member's effort. Okay, now I know that this is somewhat like a game, and in the past I did receive the following forms coming back. All the forms come back indicate the maximum number of four in all the form, and we put it just the same. Now it's really up to you, it's a very good exercise on how you perceive the team members work throughout the period. Alright, so that is so much on this particular form. And after that, I just want to emphasize that beside this artifacts you need to submit, you must finish the team wiki for week number 8 to 10. And when you finish the team wiki, you need to pay attention to the work you need to do. For example, the artifact you need to produce, the manpower you have in terms of two pairs and four members. And so you need to include the space there, the responsibility for the individual member of the wiki to be the wiki, for the individual pairs to be the wiki. And the wiki will give you, if I remember correctly, at least 24 points of 100 more score points. So there's a lot of points over there, all right? So do not lack this part of the work of the contract numbers. It's a very important thing. And of course, one of the important items here is the meeting minutes. Um, you need to submit three sets of meeting minutes, one for each week of the three weeks in the contract number three. So uh, other than that, not much you need to do. Uh, at the end of the learning period, in our learning country number three, these are the artifacts expected from each team, including from each individual member of the team. Okay. So, now having said that, I think I've already used up my 10 minutes, so I'll give you two to three minutes time to prepare for the spokespersons, and the spokesperson will be given at most two minutes time to report to the whole class what your team is up to, and remember, this is the very last class for the last week of the learning country number three. You got to have something to tell. And after that, you have about 10 to 20 minutes time to prepare for your team based in class reporting. And then I'll pass the microphone to the individual team. So, two to three minutes to get yourself ready for the spokespersons. And then you need to come up here and the shape. Welcome back, Annie. Welcome. All right, allow me to take attendance first. For today, during this two to three minutes time, that you prepare for your spokesperson for it. All right, so very good indeed. Candy, thank you very much. Neo, thank you. Annie, thank you. Jishin, thank you. Tom, not here yet, okay. Connie, thank you. Tom, oh, you're here. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark is not here. Luna is here. Thank you. Uh, Jury is here. Tammy is here. Francis is here. Okay. And then Joanna is here. Peter is here. Marina is here. Jennifer is here. Sheena is here. Very good. And Nari is here. Nari? Not here yet, okay. Kathy, uh, thank you. Alex is here. Alright, so Isa is here. Thank you very much. I'd love to see you back here. Remember, next Thursday, after today, next month, there is a holiday because of the Changing Festival. So, next Thursday, when you come back, you will not be coming back to this room. I will tell you which computer room to go, okay, through the teacher's message. And then you just go to that room to carry out what we call the midterm exercise. You need to select a topic, write a journal, discuss it online with your very popular, write a prompt in 75 minutes, okay? So it's just an exercise that I want you to do in learning country one to learning country three.
free. And so um, next Monday is, I think next Monday, right? It's the last day when you have to submit all the items for learning culture that are free. And I will start giving you back the grade from Tuesday up to the end of the week of what I have finished the ball. Nine items, but times 100 is 900 items to grade, all right? So it's very important. All right, so um, work on your own and decide who is your spokesperson for today. And then after this week, when you come back next week, we'll step into the last stage of the semester, which we call the project period, by the name IL Antiquative Learning. And what you need to do in Antiquative Learning is to connect what you learn in the semester through producing your learning portfolio, all right, in the book of Okay, And we'll get you to this next week and the following three weeks time. Remember, we're going to finish this course uh, in definitely the last day of school is April 30th. And we have one more make up class day, which is May the 3rd. And so by the end of that week on May 3rd, you have to get all the things done. Because we do not want you to carry over the exam period, and we do not have final exam, all right? So we just want you to get finished your portfolio and use the notice score, all right? Now, do not forget to learn to learn the score, 15 points, and do not forget the in-class participations, 20 points, all right? And do not forget that uh, by the end of learning culture number three, you should got 20 more points together with 10 points in your first learning contract. It's 30 points, so already 80 points. And so your project is 20 points. Okay, there's a lot of more uh, interesting work, so get it done, all right? It's looking ready for the sports questions. Okay, we'll get you back. No, just the first one first, and then after that we do the second team, right? So don't waste time, it's already 11.45, so it's important that we give the chance to each team's books persons to come up here to tell the whole class what your team is up to. Well, you can tell according to the message here, right? At the regrets of uh, some of you, I've already produced this teacher's message. The next stream, do not forget the item that is expected from you at the end of the first, of, of the first learning contract. Are you ready? Thank you very much, uh, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The proposal is actually the problem that your whole team have designed to do in this period, so you should have no problem doing with the proposal. Okay, uh, who's the next team? Uh, 
Sheila, is, is your team the next team to do this, the Santa spokespersons? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sile. So, team number? Sorry. Team number? Four. Four. Thank you very much. So, um, Romina, is your team ready? Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Could you repeat one more time the, the team problem, your team's problem? Yeah. Do you need the three questions? No, no, just the name of the problem. Just problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 thank you very much, Peter. So, uh, Connie, is your team ready? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Connie. Thank you very much. So, Ethan, is your team ready? Thank you, Ethan. Thank you very much for your team efforts. So now we finished the first round of the spokesperson sharing from each team. So let's get into work on each table for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, actually, after that, each team, all the members in the team need to go out and share your individual portions of the work done or yet to be done. Okay? So in the meantime, allow me to remind you that now that you have uh, the records of your in-car shares, okay, remember it's your responsibility to keep the records of the in-car shares, one after the other, okay, and at the end, during the next period, the final period of the semester, 
you need to create a record table in your portfolio in which for each record you can assign two points there, okay? And so I hope uh, with this many sharing opportunity, you have at least done five to seven in-class sharing. And so if you need some extra opportunity to do that, to make up to 10, we could count how many more sharing sections we need. And normally in the past, I would um, arrange the last two weeks, um, three to two weeks, to make sure that each student would have an opportunity to make what we call the speech of the semester, right here. Okay? And the speech of the semester, it's normally equivalent to five chances of in-class sharing. Because in the speech of the semester, you're going to tell the whole class what you've learned from the whole semester. Okay? And you must match your speech with a PowerPoint. And so that will be very important. And for this speech, each student will be given 10 minutes. Okay, each student will be given 10 minutes. So it's very important that you collaborate your in-class participation slot and come for yourself. Have I done at least 10 times? Because I do not want you to lose the 20 important semester points. You understand what I mean? You keep track of the records, go back to the sharing slot, check the video, and mark down on your record what you did, when, and for what purpose. Okay? That is the 20 score, 20 semesters point score. Okay? I'll give you 10 minutes time, that will be fine, and then each team will be given a chance to come up here to share. Now remember, each member of your team when you come up here to share is considered as an instance of in-class participation. So do not miss the chance for learning contract number three. Today is the last chance, all right? Thank you. 
that's fair. That's also Yes, that's why I say we go back to the uh, website, the new website, of the of the 14 of the year. Uh, by the way, there is also a question there, okay? 
uh, associated with this learning contract. Uh, this questionnaire will be opened up starting from April the 1st, and you can continue to do it until April the 5th. It's very important that you complete this questionnaire. It's called a student feedback questionnaire for learning contract number three. So make sure after you have submit all the items, you complete this questionnaire. It's very important for me to get your feedback, all right? I'll give you two more minutes, so we're going to stop the team base sharing at 12.05. So in the meantime, excuse me for one minute. Make sure you understand the meaning of LC 0018 PBL proposal. That is the problem your team is working with, okay, in the current learning contract. What you need to do is just make sure you file and produce this proposal as an important record. Uh, the title, copy work, okay, the three questions, uh, the three defined references, and the paragraph, not more than 200 words to tell the significance of this problem, all right? Okay, now it's 12.05, actual 06. So, which team is going to stop? It's a Japanese team. Are you ready? Okay, thank you very much. Yes. So we have the chairs here, all right? We have the four chairs here. So design the six persons, the other students can see them, and when it's your turn, you come here and you share, all right? Thank you, Alex team. Thank you very much for your kick starting the process.
uh, use of technology called Mars, uh, which causes the development of technology. But uh, to know the benefits of learning more and more, people want to learn with those tours, uh, and it's also helpful for the distance education. Uh, so that leads to a great demand of using uh, learning technology tours. So uh, I think uh, the, the distance education has a, a more potential uh, development uh, for this field. Thank you, Alex. So who's the next person to share? Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. A very good point. So the next person. Thank you, Tammy. Okay, thank you, Tammy. So, finally, it's Kathy. Thank you, Kathy, for giving us the points for the advantage. And so, Alex, do you have anything to add as a conclusion? As for the you're missing, we're going to uh, finish our learning content in this weekend. And we are going to make a, a video about our PPT and, and collect our journals and do some other works. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for all the team members. So. Which team is the next team? Thank you. Thank you very much.
Uh, let's take Tom Flicker. Uh, Flicker is a successful example of the homosomy. Mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, in Flicker, uh, people can tag the tag their If you see a picture and you can tag something what you like uh, on it, and the other guys they can just search the tag to find this picture. So this is a successful application of photography. And in the next step, I will be able to focus on the advantages of the photography in social, uh, in photo sharing social websites. Thank you, Peter, for giving us Fricker as an example of the work in progress. So the next team member, Tom, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. Okay, thank you, Romina. So, uh, last member, it's Joanna. Your creativeness, your creative 
creativity and also the photos we want to share. And then I go into the cons, which is then the topic of copywriting, which is the main con. Um, and then I introduce copyright issues and copyright infringement issues, which I think correlates to our topic very well because people who use the sites like Pinterest or Tumblr and download the photos from those sites don't realize that they may be using copyright infringement and then they could be um, in danger of being sued. So I think that it's a really interesting topic um, and a very good topic to talk about copyright. So I focus a lot on that when I talk about the cult. Um, and then we did a, we finished all our learning journals, so we're going to combine them and work on some other topics as well as commenting and um, giving some points that could be useful to each other's journals. So that's for sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Joanna. And uh, we thank you for the team members' effort to put things together. Looking forward to reading your report. Okay, so who's, which team is next? Francis, is your team okay? Thank you. Thank you, Francis.
And for the last time, I will talk about uh, our Twitter timeline of the PowerPoint. And yes, uh, although I haven't finished about the PowerPoint, and our team, uh, with our teammates, will be finishing uh, with it today. Yes, and but the other things will be submitted before Monday, before next Monday. Um, yeah. Uh, and my own opinion after researching about the history of YouTube, I think that uh, YouTube is acting more like a, uh, even more like a traditional, so like a television network. Uh, not only reviewing shows and other news or live shows, I mean, and then now it has turned to be putting different kinds of videos and like promotion, advertising, and the people put videos for more noticeable. And so now this user has been set like a stage for people to do e business. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Candy, for giving us some points of interesting uh, discussion. So next, it's Neil. Okay, thank you very much, Neil. Uh, research I've done for when talking about uh, advertisement. 
And the second one is company accounts. So as Kenny mentioned before, Nike is one of the um, earliest company to um, think that uh, YouTube is a potential place for promotion. So uh, um, we can look into uh, the company account, the channel of Nike on YouTube, and we can try to analyze what kind of videos they upload except um, advertisements, because maybe they also have some, um, uh, they also express some of their company ideas on global issues like human rights and um, uh, environmental issues. Some of these things they also uploaded uh, that uh, is a perspective of their company. So uh, the third one is YouTubers, uh, which um, I have chosen the example Smosh. Uh, it is one of the famous YouTube, uh, one of the most famous YouTuber in, in on YouTube. And uh, Smosh started around uh, quite early, uh, like um, maybe the first two years of when YouTube was founded. And uh, at first they were just YouTubers, uh, uploading videos, uh, com comedic videos for people. But then afterwards they uh, turned into this uh, uh, merchandise chain where they sell t-shirts and they even do um, movies and um, they also accept um, uh, uh, promotion from other companies to um, advertise some of their stuff. So it is, uh, this proves that YouTubers is also a new form of e-business that is happening. So uh, yeah, uh, these are the three examples that I'm going to be talking about in the pathway. Thank you, Sila. Thank you very much. And uh, your effort is very scary because you're trying to put things together. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I think also when you see this part, uh, that's most, uh, actually, it's very interesting in that uh, YouTube, I think it's, maybe, it's something like YouTube and uh, maybe just inspire the the, the, uh, the company which uh, create YouTube. So uh, I'm going to do some wrap up and and this basically is uh, uh, report and I think tonight we will uh, finish our report and do a little bit change uh, as our data is not uh, is now is separate in different part. So uh, we are going to uh, make it uh, in one one file, mm -hmm. and also uh, our we take minutes. Uh, we may have some uh, some some up, uh, technical problem to upload, and because some uh, we think the forum sometimes is very inconvenient. So uh, actually, sometimes we did in our WeChat and we also need to find the, the record and upload it and, and so on. That basically gets our... Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you, Francis, and your team member for doing this sharing here. Uh, remember, the meeting minutes must be done in when you submit Microsoft Web format for submissions, okay? Okay, it's your team ready, Connie? Thank you very much. Sorry, my phone call just minutes ago.
innovations uh, and also employee is a very important element to make uh, uh, business success. But uh, if uh, the if employee uh, just uh, working their project and put things in their internet, uh, maybe some of them will not uh, really uh, very uh, kind and very immediately look at the report and cannot give any suggestions immediately. They will somehow will, uh, will reduce their satisfactory of the employees and this will uh, reduce uh, their uh, reduce their self, uh, reduce their confidence or the feelings of for the employees, and this is the uh, uh, worst of these things. And and for the second question, I will try to find about what is the future improvement. And based on the uh, first question about negative, uh, I will uh, either just uh, either. Previous lesson, I was found uh, about what is the improvement in that internet or in that application, and the next things of the future improvement. I think I will try to find something about solving the solutions of the less communication about the employees, and uh, maybe uh, other than the uh, the application it improve itself, maybe. Uh, and the other way is how humans to uh, to set some rules to suit the application to make the application much more better. Okay, thank you, Connie, for making points to ponder. So next is Nuna. Thank you, Luna. Um, it's very interesting to listen to your example. Uh, it's Jerry. I expect all the top and then don't have 
Der war es entsprechend so vom Lüttich entwickelt, ja, das so an der Uniness entwickelt und so an der Uniness. Ich dachte, das ist something about small, small book business that means that due to the low cost of the application, that the people can, like four or five people, they can start a small company and use this technology start a very, very small business uh, without meeting each other. Uh, actually, they can be uh, people that fall on the term, and they can use this uh, as an advantage to start uh, a business. business. Uh, however, there is also a disadvantage. Uh, this online-based application is happening via on the internet. So if uh, someone Let's say uh, speaking of speaking, that there will be a very bad connection, so uh, it will be very hard to do so. So uh, that's it's my suggestion in this book. Okay, thank you, Jerry, for helping us to understand your work. Thank you, Annie, uh, for updating us on your progress in intelligent and virtual office. So uh, we thank you for your team, for your work done, and we expect to receive the artifacts uh, before next Monday. Thank you very much. So Ethan, it's your team's last one. Thank you very much for the two of you. Very courageous team, Oris. Thank you.
broadcast uh, as uh, uh, it is. But I think broadcast is still go for the people to uh, learn the new language, and it is uh, uh, convenient to our life. Uh, it uh, it helps us to kill the time when we uh, such as a uh, way for way for us. Okay, Jian. Thank you, Ethan. Okay, Jian, thank you. We look forward to reading your team's report. Uh, Ethan, do you have anything to add? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you're just on time. Now it's 12.45. Very excellent use of your time. Uh, let, me, let me congratulate on most of you on the work done so far. Uh, this is a new way to learn for most of you because you are here to do the Learn to Learn model. And in order to do the learn to learn model, most of you are obliged to act on what you chose to do. And in this particular free wins of learning contract number three, you were given the freedom to choose a topic individually. You are given the freedom to choose a topic pair-wise. You are given the freedom to choose a topic team-wise. And so from individual projects to pair project to team project, so uh, you have to make sure that each one of you in your team will have to buy in for the topic of the project and you have to think in such a way that how to contribute to the success of this project in terms of producing those artifacts. And a lot of the time you have to harmonize the ideas and you have to know how to uh, seek help from your partner, from the teammates. So you can see that um, let me give you a score. Most of these score, the team PBL means collectively you get the same score, uh, including the proposal, the report, the PowerPoint, the digital story, you choose to do it. In 15 minutes, you've got the same score for all the members of the team. For your learning journal, for your blog, you'll have a different score. And for the team discussion for the detail, depending on the way you discuss about your topic, as well as the team topic, you might have a different score. And for this particular assessment form, each team member should got the same score. Uh, you can beat that. But for this wiki, it will be a little bit different. Uh, because it depends on how you did your work based on the team committee minutes, decisions, and the actions to be taken. So it will be very uh, challenging. So in this particular practice, we want to make sure we know the meaning of teamwork. Uh, since we're going to write up the teamwork by the end of this week, so uh, it's very important that uh, you understand if you want the team to succeed, you have to make contributions on your portions. All right, that's it for today, and I'm going to see you back here next Thursday, but actually not here, but in the computer room, which I'm going to inform to you by next Monday. Uh, in the computer room, the name and the group number of the computer room will be notified to you by next Monday. And when you go to the computer room next Thursday, make sure you got a partner, your learning partner, your teammate at least, uh, so that you can finish the exercise and got the number 15 points out of the semester. Okay, thank you very much for the good work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to. Yes, not yourself, not yourself. Yes, yeah, in, in one form. And you do not need to make known to your 
think that's correct. So thank you very much for those questions. All right, see you next Thursday. Have a good Chainmail Festival. Yes, sure. You need to do a lot of editing to get at this point. You have to train them into a different story. One is related to the other. That is what they are saying. And you cannot make it over 50 years. That is the problem to have to write down something in the other one.
一个一个一个方面，这边那个对主对对，好吧，好，哇 ，OK， let me stop the camera first. Okay, that's it for today. CISG one one four section one, web technology at night on day number twenty.